Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There was a lot of panic selling on the market today because of this loading screen. I wanna talk about that with you guys today. Talk about the potential situations that we could see uh, for this preseason promo and what this loading screen actually means. Should you sell those cards? Are they gonna get re-released back into packs? We'll take our best stab at it today. And again, just look at this loading screen, right? I don't think any of us expected this today. I don't think any of us expected to see the team of the season and team of the year car design on the loading screen. After what we've seen the first couple days, the whole preseason thoughts of this maybe being tied to FIFA 21. Now we were thinking, okay, it's going to be tied to Europa League and Road and Champions League because of the RTTF cards, the UCL lives and the UEL lives that were put on this loading screen yesterday. And now we're thinking there's going to be packs thrown back into there's going to be these cards thrown back into packs. So this almost seems like footies all over again, but with like a Champions League twist. But why is it called preseason? Because we're sort of, sort of leading into FIFA 20. Maybe this is a promo that they're going to have last for the whole month of August while they release like FIFA 21 information and somehow tied that in. Who knows what this promotion is going to be. But a lot of people started to make some assumptions and get some ideas based off of this screen right here with the team of the year car design and the tots car design on display on the front that prompted a lot of people today to go on the market and to offload some of their cards uh, because they thought uh, that these cards are going to come back into packs and this me meant to them that they were going to be getting supplied and people are well aware what happens now uh, when you get cards that are supplied back in two packs for a second time we saw it first time around with a team of the season cards big the big drops that they had anything that was released in batch one two or three you guys know it took a big time crash in price because again more supply for the market just means that price is going down because there is more and more supply for that card since it is in packs people are opening upgrade packs it's toward the end of the game so i want to talk about some of these price drops today because if you can see here conte was 1.7 million coins at one point on the playstation console he's actually risen back up a little bit right now we're going to take a look at his graph and footbin this is the picture and basically this is what happened with all the meta cards today that are out of packs the team of the years team of the seasons that are very very popular that a lot of you guys bought last week for your teams because we thought this whole thing was over we thought the whole summer heat thing was over, and this is continually what EA does every single year. And what they've done throughout the past, this year especially, is they you think one promotion is over, and then something else comes along, and people are panic selling their cards basically every single week, which is what EA wants because it makes you lose more coins in the long run because you're constantly buying and selling, buying and selling, losing on tax, and you know playing into the market movements that happen with those panic sells. But... Conte was 2.05 mil this morning and 1.7 on the Xbox. Dropped down to 1.7 on the on the PlayStation and 1.4 on the Xbox. And he has bounced back a little bit on both consoles. Again, this is what happens anytime there is panic selling on a very meta and very popular out of packs card. Conte goes from 2 mil down to 1.7, 1.69, all the way back up to 1.83 a couple hours after that. Just because of the panic selling, people saw that card drop literally 300,000 coins. And they said, yo, I'm picking it up. That's too cheap. He rose back up. The, the buyback kind of happened because people thought it was too cheap. And then they went and they started kind of selling this card again because, again, he was 1.83. Now he's back down to 176. So he's kind of dropped back down again on the market. Now, let's answer this question. Should you guys be selling these cards right now before they could possibly be re-released back into packs? Now, again, what I talked about just a bit ago, if they do get re-released back into packs, that's going to be a lot of extra supply that comes onto the market and they're going to go lower. But if the, the loading screen and whatever that means does not actually uh, entail that they're going to be put back into packs and it means something else that EA is going to be doing in this next promo, then these guys are going to shoot back up because they're just the most meta and usable cards in the game, especially team of the years. That's one type of card that has not been re-released back into packs that is still very rare because they've only had one source of supply this year and that was during the one week where they were in packs. Uh, in January during team of the year. So that is one thing that team of the years have going for them. If they do not get re-released, you will see a really nice bounce back on these cards. In my opinion, uh, later this week on Wednesday at 6 PM UK, if you see that there's no cards that are being re-released back into packs, look at delict, 
Look at Conte, look at Neymar, look at Mbappe, team of the seasons, because those cards are going to bounce back for sure. Uh, as people who sold them are going to say, hey, they're not in packs, so I'm going to go buy them back up. Uh, and you're going to see those cards rebound back up. But again, team of the seasons got panic sold today as well. We've been talking a lot about team of the years. This Mbappe was like 2.8, 2.9 million coins this weekend. Ben Yedder was like 3.8. He's down to 3.6, 3.5, 3, I think even. Uh, 2.6 for Mbappe, 2.5. Neymar was like 4.3 million coins literally this morning. This Neymar team of the season card was 4.3 million coins this morning. And right now, I believe he's 3.9, under 3.9 million coins. So that is wild that there was that big of a drop off that fast. Um, it just goes to show you that people are still intertwined with this game. People are still interacting and playing in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team because they're interested in what's going on. And it doesn't help. That a lot of people just bought their end game teams because they thought FIFA was over and it was all FIFA 21 from here on out. And now we have this happening and this whole uh, loading screen, panic selling and everything that was going on because of it. So if you still have cards in your club, if you think they're going to get re-released back into packs, I can't make this decision for you. I do not know based off this loading screen what is going to happen. Seeing this on the loading screen to me tells me that I do think they will get re-released back into packs. Um, but how much more hype is there? And are they going to actually drop too much lower upon that release? Maybe on Wednesday, if it is said that team of the years, team of the seasons, and like a full, a true best of, the best version of every card in FIFA is in packs, because that could happen. Then I think these cards would take another small dip and then rebound shortly after that and into rewards the next day. Because, you know, Tots... Team of the Year cards, they're not going to get packed that much. Team of the Years especially are not in rewards. If the same Summer Heat rewards for Weekend League still come out this week, which they should be, um, Team of the Years will not be supplied with that. It'll just be the you know the same Team of the Seasons, Foot Birthdays, Headliners, anything 90 plus in the player picks, Gold 2 and above, and the Elite Packs. Um, so I don't think Team of the Years would see a, a, as much a supply as the Tots would. Um, but I still think you would see on the very, very meta stuff like the Neymars, the Mbappes, the Ben Yedder, the Van Dyke, the De Bruyne, uh, the team of the year Conte. I do think you would see a rebound on these cards just because people would start to buy them back unless the content for preseason promo, whatever it is, is out of the park, insane, ridiculous, good value, almost like summer heat, but even better if it's that, if that's even possible. So just keep an eye out and keep a watch out for that, I suppose. If you're somebody who's on the fence, should I sell? Should I not sell? Maybe you just wait until 6 p.m. UK on Wednesday. And again, it is basically August. So don't get too wrapped up and worrying about losing a couple hundred thousand coins on a card that is, you know, multiple of millions of coins just because it's that stage of the game where you're going to be playing with this card for another month and a half or two. And then all your focus is going to be on the next game where you don't start with 97 rated cards in your club. Now, we'll see what happens again. Is this promo going to be somehow related to FIFA 21? That would be sick if it is. Uh, but honestly, right now, after what we saw in the last two days in the loading screen, it doesn't appear that it will. It looks almost just like hoodies, like, um, uh, like Summer Heat with cards being re-released back into packs unless EA has something else up their sleeve. Uh, it is a well-timed promo if they're going to be doing some stuff with Road to the Final cards and, um, you know, because Champions League and Europa League are starting up in the very, very near future. And that's going to be the only football that is on because a lot of the main leagues have uh, finished. A lot of the main league has finished. You know, the Prem just finished. Um, Serie A is almost done, I believe. We have a couple games left in that. Of course, you got the Callejon and the Alexis Sanchez. Um, summer showdown. This might be one of our last summer summer showdowns, unless they do summer showdowns for. Um, if they did summer showdowns for Champions League, that would be dope. Like a Champions League uh, summer showdown card. If they even just put out a new card design for that, that'd be pretty freaking sweet in my opinion. So that could be something that we see uh, as a part of this preseason promo, maybe. Um, but we will see what happens with that. You have like 16 hours as of right now to finish that. So I think on Tuesday you have to finish Callejon at some point. Or Alexis Sanchez, which I did Sanchez, just to see if he would get an upgrade. Uh, actually, you know what? I did not see. Did Trezeguet or Masuaku get their upgrades to 93? Did that happen yet? Usually it happens about 24 hours after the game is over. And it is uh, Monday evening right now when I'm recording this. So I'm going to go do a quick check through concepts and see if uh, Masuaku or Trezeguet 
got their 93 ratings boost. They have not gotten their boost yet because Masawaku is still at 92 and Trezeguet is still at 92. But both those are going to get a plus one. Speaking of summer showdowns, uh, hopefully very, very soon. A lot of people did the Trezeguet. Even as a plus one, he's probably going to look really good. I think we really want, would have wanted to see him get that plus three, though, and go to a 95 rated car. He would have been absolutely correct from that standpoint. So again, if you're wanting to know, should I sell cards? Should I buy cards? I would honestly wait until Wednesday. If you're scared about losing more coins, I think you could sell, but I think there's more of a potential for some of these cards to actually bounce back because I don't know how EA is going to top the summer heat promo. And even if they release these cards back into packs, especially team of the years, they're not going to get packed that much. The only issue that I could see arising is Cards that have both a team of the season and a team of the year. If the team of the year goes back into packs and that card gets supplied more, most of these cards, the team of the season is better. Like in Bappe right here, the Tots has plus one shooting, minus one passing, and then the same everything else. So it just depends on which card you like more. I like this one more. It just seems I've always liked team of the year card designs better than team of the seasons. Uh, this year is, you know, team of the seasons look really good, but I just love how the team of the year card looks. I love that design with like, you know, the ornament on the bottom. It just looks regal. I know I've said it all year long. It just looks regal to me with that dark blue. Mm, that's a good looking card right there. So if this does come back into packs, the team of the season has had a lot of supply already from being in packs for multiple weeks. Excuse me, for one week, batch three. It's got a little bit of extra supply. So, uh, and ultimate team of the season, I guess you can consider that too. Um, but, uh, it might, if this card goes into packs, it might drag down the, the tots a little bit just because they're very similar in price. If this guy drops another 300, 400,000 coins, I would expect this card to drop about the same amount or maybe like two, 300,000 coins, just because when one drops down, they're so similar in price that I would expect both of them to drop together since they, again, are basically the same card in this game. Now today for Tuesday content, what are we going to see? Probably if, in my opinion, since this was the same content we had on Monday, and I said this yesterday in the Market Outlook video, I said, hey, I would not be surprised this week if our only content on Monday and Tuesday is a new loading screen, and that's what it was on Monday, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it is again on Tuesday. But seriously, look and see what they advertise on the promo screen today. It might give us another big-time clue as to what is coming on Wednesday with this new promo. If you're grinding objectives right now, GG's to you. Um, I don't think, yeah, I've got a little bit of this one to go. i still have to work on Semedo. I played like two games last night. Uh, actually I just played one game last night and I got some stuff done. So I'm gonna have to keep working on that one. Since I have my moments, uh, Figo, if you guys watched the pack opening video that we did, I did pack myself a moments Figo from that icon or moments upgrade. So not a terrible card. He had a nice solid first game, one goal, one assist as a contribution. So that was pretty solid for him. Uh, I also just realized that my coins are the same backwards as forward. What is, what do you say? Same backwards as forwards. What is that called? One, four, two, one, two, four, one, uh, a palindrome that's for a words, but it's for numbers, right? If you look at my coin amount balance, you go forwards 1.421241. Now read it backwards. 1.421241. I'm not going to open any packs, not going to quick sell anything, not going to buy any cards because that is is pretty that's pretty cool anyways again today on the market if you see more stuff on the loading screen more cards saying that they could go back into packs uh or any sort of any sort of content that looks like it could be a this goes back into packs or anything that looks super duper hype you might see a little bit more panic selling but for the rest of the next daytime i would expect these tots cards to stay the same in value maybe trickle down a little bit possibly trickle up as the panic selling has kind of ended on most of these. Um, but again, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Honestly, I, it's really all depends on what EA drop on Wednesday with this promo, with this content. I might just wait until then because I'm still not so sure just how hype this promo could be uh, without or after coming this after coming out of this summer heat promo that was absolutely insane in terms of content. The only one thing that still worries me a little bit is this icon upgrade is out for uh, 19 more days. So if there is something really dope that comes out that is grindable, that is craftable, there's going to be a lot of people that will full send their clubs into this SBC, especially if you can for the years, uh, people would really go in hard on uh, upgrade packs. If you want to 
go in on rare golds at the moment you absolutely can i mean they're basically discard right now to get at 650 600 coins on bid you can see a lot of these guys are going for 650 600 if you want to go on a sign if you think there's going to be upgrade packs coming and you think those cards are going to come back into packs be my guest at least stock your club if you want to sbc fodder wise at the moment uh things are looking still pretty pricey they are coming downwards but they're still pretty pricey based off of what we're used to 84s are 7,000 coins, 86s are 19, 20K. Uh, these are high because of the Icon SBC. Anything that is over 86 rated is kind of inflated because of that Icon upgrade. Um, but these cards are fluctuating a decent amount. Now the golds are starting to get kind of cheaper because they're in packs, they're getting uh, supplied a little bit. Uh, but these guys are fluctuating around a decent amount because uh, like this Musa Dembele team of the season card, he was just in packs for a week. His price dropped a bunch. You know, all the way down here to 25k, he's back up, but he's getting into the cheapest solutions and he's very linkable. So you can see he bounces around between 39k and 49k, 38 to 45. So a lot of these cards are bouncing around as they get in and as they go out of SBC solutions for that prime icon or moments icon upgrade SBC. So just keep your eyes out on some of the stuff for that if you're trying to make some coins right now on this game as well stock your club with rare golds if you think there's going to be packs and you want to grind those packs and good luck with your objectives if you're still finishing those and still we're just kind of sitting here waiting for wednesday to see what happens on this game on wednesday with this pre-season promo so if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it if you have any questions comment down below and of course if you're new hit that subscribe button as well i will catch you guys in a new video soon it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out